Greg Laporte with Sonic Technologies here at ESV TV to talk about the XMAC Pro server and the XMAC Mini server. But since I have the XMAC Mini server right here with me, let's get started with that. So, looking at it with its cover on, you wouldn't know that housed within this is a very powerful Mac Mini enabled by uh, a lot of expansion capabilities. While I have it in this position, let's first note that there's a power button that will actually turn on and off the Mac Mini without having to open the lid to access it. And we also have a USB 3 port that has been brought out with cable from the Mac Mini uh, so that you have easy access on the front of the chassis. This fits in a, it's a rugged enclosure. It fits in a 1U rack mount space. Uh, highly uh, popular with DITs on set, with front of houses on tour. Very rugged mobile rack, <clears throat> but it's also used uh, very extensively uh, uh, in the server room as a small <coughs> business server, as a um, uh, XServe uh, replacement, uh, using it as a metadata server with a um, fiber channel card and a gigabit ethernet card. And so what we have here is a Mac Mini mounted uh, securely into the XMAC Mini server. We provide all these extra cables that allow you to, um, there's a Thunderbolt cable, to connect um, the USB ports again to the front like I showed you and then three more in the back, in the rear. Uh, and we call these panel mount connectors so you have easy access to the ports without having to open up um, and access the Mac Mini itself. We have HDMI, Gigabit Ethernet, and power, all to the Mac Mini. And then it's all connected via this Thunderbolt cable to the Thunderbolt card, which is, by the way, upgradable in the future to Thunderbolt 3. Uh, we have our Thunderlock locking connector that uh, allows you to secure the Thunderbolt cable connection uh, to the chassis. And now we have room for PCI expansion cards connected over Thunderbolt. This will take a full height, full length card, uh, including an Avid HDX card. Uh, we provide auxiliary power for that card if it needs uh, that, or a, a Rocket X card, a red Rocket X card. And then there's also room for a second full height, half length card. So a popular combination here is Avid HDX and a UAD Octo card, for example. DSP card in this slot, or maybe our Tempo SSD um, uh, PCIe card uh, to give storage expansion within the chassis. Lots of combinations. Um, the Mac Mini is actually quite a, pro a powerful computer uh, when enabled by Thunderbolt to expand not only uh, PC with PCIe cards, but with storage. So this is the XMAC Mini server, 1U rack mount chassis. Now let's take a look at the XMAC Pro Server. The XMAC Pro Server uh, is a 4U rack mount enclosure that houses the Mac Pro, which fits in here in this space. It provides three PCI slots of expansion. It's the same expansion chassis we use in the Echo Express 3D and 3R internal power supply supporting the largest uh, full height, full length cards, including the ones that need uh, additional power, like the Red Rocket uh, uh, X and the Red Rocket, as well as the Avid HDX cards. It also provides a space for optional storage expansion with what we call the mobile rack device mounting kits. Same as in the Echo Express 3R, uh, same kits can work in either the XMAC Pro server or the Echo Express 3R. So this is where there's storage expansion. In this particular example, there are three, three and a half inch drives that can obviously be connected up and linked to the Mac Pro. The Mac Pro uh, is a beautiful computer. A lot of people love it on their desktop, but a lot of people would rather not have it on their desktop. And so um, this provides an opportunity to conveniently rack mount the Mac Pro somewhere else, either desk side 
or in the machine room, connecting it via optical Thunderbolt cable to a Thunderbolt dock on your desk, which hooks up to the monitor and keyboard and so forth. It's also very popular, as you see here, in some type of a mobile uh, cart or mobile uh, flight case or uh, any other type of um, DIT cart. DITs love this uh, in their cart to support all the work that they do on set. Uh, it's super rugged. So three modules for the computer, for the PCI expansion, and for storage. So well, let's turn it around a little bit and take a look at it from the back. So what we have here is the computer mounting module where the Mac Pro uh, is securely mounted in a rubberized lined uh, metal bracket that holds it well and protects it. We have the panel mount cables that come out uh, to the rear so that we have easy access to them. There's a power cable, there's three, there's four USB 3 ports, one that goes to the front, three that go to the rear. We have HDMI, we also provide a extra HDMI cable and that goes to your monitor uh, with a locking connector. We're big on locking connectors uh, and we provide that as part of the uh, kit and um, gigabit ethernet. So all of these ports. We don't provide panel mount for Thunderbolt ports. Um, wish we could but we can't because Thunderbolt uses active electronics at the connector in their cable. There's no such thing as a panel mount connector that allows you to sort of pass through the signal uh, like these panel mount cables can. So you connect your Thunderbolt cables, maybe add an additional one or two uh, that you keep looped up inside here. Uh, and then, um, or, you know, we can take off the front plate, remove a few screws, and uh, change out the Thunderbolt cable. I've done it in about four and a half minutes, so it doesn't take too long to, to do that. So the Thunderbolt cable from here will connect to the PCIe expansion chassis for the three cards. Uh, here's two Thunderbolt 2 ports, quiet temperature controlled fan to cool the cards, and then this is the op optional mobile rack device mounting kit where you would connect uh, storage um, uh, from one of uh, interfaces from one of the cards here into the uh, rack mount. So super great way to uh, provide all of the things that uh, you need in terms of expansion uh, to support the Mac Pro in a convenient for you rack mount space and get it out of the way and keep the Mac Pro uh, cooled and quiet and uh, functioning at its best. One of the nice things about the Mac Pro is that it actually has three Thunderbolt 2 buses or controllers that allow you to have up to 1350 megabytes per second of bandwidth out of each of those three. So there's two Thunderbolt 2 ports for each of those three controllers, giving you a total of six Thunderbolt 2 ports. So what's very popular to do to maximize the bandwidth for high performance devices is to load balance. An example of that is that for, let's say for example, you have some high performance cards mounted into the three slot chassis and you want a 10 gigabit ethernet connection, which can take most of the bandwidth of a Thunderbolt 2 connection. So you could take our Twin 10G, we have a mounting kit for this, allows it to fit conveniently into this space where we have storage shown here uh, in this uh, unit I have here with me. So this will mount in there with a the mounting kit and then you can connect that to one of the other uh, Thunderbolt buses on the uh, X -Mac Pro, on the Mac Pro and then a separate one to the chassis. So each can have uh, access to a full 1250 megabytes per second of bandwidth. So look for the mounting kit uh, for the Twin 10G to mount it into the XMAC Pro server. That's it for the uh, XMAC Mini server and the XMAC Pro server. 1U and 4U rugged rack mount chassis for the Mac Mini and the Mac Pro. You can learn more about this on our website at www.sonatech.com.